تناول الطعام الطازج أثناء الساعات المباركة أمر مهم بالنسبة للممارسين الروحيين الجزء واحد من اثنان ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ والتي ألقيت باللغة الإنجليزية في السادس والعشرون من نوفمبر 2018 <تصفيق> How are you? How are you? How are you, Master? Yeah, I am fine. I'm still alive. Just today, originally, I wanted to come down to talk to you, to see you, and then something wrapped me up. I could not get off. And now so late, and uh, uh, we have to arrange this way just to let you know that I, I still think of you, huh? Tomorrow, if it's possible, I'll try to make it in daytime, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. The situation is really was so urgent, and I cannot even leave. I cannot leave just for that. Yes, yeah, so now, so I have to just call you just to say hello and if you're all right. Just raining. Is it okay? You wet? Okay. <laughs> all right. Good, good. I told you I don't have a roof for you. I told you not to come and you, you all still come. Yeah. And yeah, we have a, a better one in Kaohsiung, but I have to work. I can't work in Kaohsiung. I work better near here. It's because of the situation and the arrangement like that. I will try to come see you tomorrow. Anybody leave tomorrow? Uh, who are you? Indonesia leave? German uh, What time? Early morning, five. Oh my God! Why you come so and leave so early? Germany is that real German or Vietnamese German? No, uh, uh, Indian German. Indian German. Yeah, Malaysian German, master. Malaysian German. Oh, I am so sorry. But maybe better you leave because it's so wet and <laughs> there's no roof. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the future it will get better. Yeah, might have some better place. I'm so sorry. I told you guys, I told you guys long ago, don't come. <laughs> it's just, I don't have a good place for you. Okay. 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 Cảm ơn gì đâu, đâu có chỗ cho quý vị gì đâu mà cảm ơn. Tụi con rất là sung sướng mà được được sư phụ cho nghe tiếng của sư phụ là tụi con mừng lắm rồi. Okay. Yeah, but the person who leaves tomorrow won't see me. What's your name, Germany? Maheshwari, Master. Maheshwari? Yes. Wow, what a holy name. <laughs> How long have you been here? One week? Yeah, one week. Uh, next time, just come during the weekend. is more chance, huh? Yes. I also have a lot of work to do. Have you seen me before? Yes, Master, many times. Many times? Yes. Oh, at least like that. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, our situation and the karma of the world and many things always try to obstruct me, you know? Mm. When I want to see you guys, I cannot and all that. Oh, something happened, yeah? We understand, Master. You understand, but doesn't mean it makes you happy. <laughs> mm. I am so sorry, Mahesh, yeah? You know what? Yes, Master. Um, only you leave tomorrow or anyone else? Yeah, another German sister is also leaving. Người Việt Nam, huh? 27 người. 27 người ngày mai về hết? Dạ. Dạ. 27 người Việt Nam về. À, về Âu Lạc hả? Dạ. Ây da. Ok, ok. Ok, let me think quick. Uh. Ok, just one moment. Uh, đợi một chút, ok? Ok, you, you guys stay there, ok? Yeah.
Can you guys just stay there? Maybe uh, half an hour, yeah? So who is going tomorrow? All is here? Only you? They told me 27. Ah. Oh. I drop everything, come down, because you say you're going 5 o'clock in the morning. Couldn't you wait 5 o'clock in the afternoon? Okay, never mind, have a look then. Hmm? Higher, huh? Higher, do you hear some, eh? Hai giờ đâu có máy bay đâu. <cười> Tự mình bay hả? <cười> ok. Ai <cười> giờ đi xe bus hiểu rồi. Có người chở đi hả? Hay là đi xe bus? Hmm. Where's my telephone? I just want to see what time is it. So, oops. Sorry, sorry. <cười> Why are you looking at? Why are you laughing? Huh? Why? Modernize, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, I know everything now. <laughs> now it's 12.34. You have one hour or something to run, yeah? God. I don't even know how to use... That's all I know, okay? And if I push like this, sometimes it don't work. And I say, hey, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I don't, I want to turn off, it turns on. And sometimes I want to turn on, it turns off. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still getting used to with this uh, temperamental <laughs> machine. It's very good stuff. Good tablet, yeah? Look like a stone tablet, but it's a real, real thing, yeah. Ah, oh, well, nowadays we take everything for granted. So modernized now. Is it stopped raining already? Oh. I wanted to come see you in the morning, at daytime, but I could not. There was something going on. And then something else going along with it. You understand? One thing leads to another. Yeah? So many things, and I was really tied up and wrapped up, I could not go. And then when I realize it, it's too late. So I thought, okay, I take a shower and quickly look at my other kind of tablet, you know, the bigger one, many, many number, many, many letter on it. <laughs> See what I have to do. Every day is some work. And then what happened? And then I heard you crying something down here. I thought maybe somebody is leaving, yeah, because I didn't come down today, so maybe I thought I'd come have a look at you, see if you're still okay. Sorry about the situation, huh? I told you not to come to my place here in Taiwan. I told Taiwanese also don't come, <laughs> because <laughs> we don't have anything here, huh? You have a holiday, right? Holiday time, right? And you thought, okay, I make a holiday. Not here. Here, <laughs> nothing to look at. <laughs> Only the rain. Did, and if you did not bring any raincoat or any umbrella, you're in trouble. Hmm? Your rice becomes soup. <laughs> right? <laughs> because <laughs> even your eating area, there's no roof either. These are recently put up, but still the, the one who sits in between is getting wet, no? What kind of holidays are you making here? Ah. <laughs> I said, I don't have anything here. Everybody knows it. For many decades already, we have nothing. You going now? Come here. Come this way, quickly. How many are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> hey, souvenir. 
Korea, come on, Anita. Anita, come here, Korea, huh? All of you, Korea? Yes, all Korea. Korea, come here. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, your master very poor. Huh? Only small houses. I'm so sorry. Okay. 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 Come, come along here. Grateful with some cake. Come on. Uh. <laughs> All right. There you go. Come, Sami Da. Thank you. Huh? Have a good trip. Okay. Have a good trip. <laughs> good trip. Yeah. Souvenir. Come, Sami Da. Come, Sami Da. Have a good trip. How you say have a good trip in Korean? Yeah, I think 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 I I also don't feel good that I could not spend all my day with you. My dogs feel the same. No matter how much I spend time with them, they're never enough. I just, for example, from their room, I just leave to go to the bathroom. Five minutes, come back later. <laughs> Wagging tail everywhere. Wagging the whole body and go, you know? Like, <laughs> a long time no see. Yeah, this is a problem with the love. Love just binds you so tight. Yeah, hate would make you want to run away. Love want to tie you. <laughs> very, very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult when you are loved by someone. You don't want to leave. And when you leave, you feel like something twisting in your heart. Uh, your, your feet feel heavy, you know. Oh, go, go, don't go. <laughs> I want to go this way, just go that way. <laughs> it's a problem. Yeah, what to do? Um, there's one solution is that you meditate well, hmm, sincerely, and keep yourself pure at heart. And then one day we all go up. And you can see me all day, all night, every time. There's no day, no night, nothing over there. And we all like one, you know, feel good. It doesn't feel like have to leave because of bus, because of airplane, because of visa. Everywhere is like that. They have some regulation and, you know, law. This place we cannot build anything. This is already very good. I know, but you get wet. The one in the middle of the two ten together get wet, right? I said, well, you didn't have umbrella, hat, nothing? You have extra clothes? Yeah. But if every day like this, you don't have enough time to change. Yeah. And the food is good, at least. Yeah? It would be nice if each one have like one room, hey? Yeah. With a toilet inside and suit, huh? Eh? And suite and then bathroom, huh? Eh? Running water, yeah? Carpet, huh? Eh? Sofa, huh? Eh? Big king size bed, huh? Eh? Run around and meditate. Eh? And the way you meditate, you need a king size bed. So, so you don't fall on the floor. <laughs> Sit right in the middle, no? Yeah, the Buddha doesn't know my disciples. That's why he said, you cannot sit on the big, tall or large bed. Uh, you need it. Yeah. You know, the Buddha's disciple, if they meditate, they don't need to sit anywhere, you know? Maybe they have a hammock only. But you meditate <laughs> too well, you know? Yeah, all direction, you know? One time, front direction, oops, hit the brother in the front. Oh, wow, he's uh, sorry. <laughs> Sit again. Uh, uh. 
Okay, wake up. <clears throat> and then next time, oh, the back direction. Hit the back seat. Oh, God, that's no good. Sorry, sorry. And then next time, the right side seems good. Oh, oh, God, no, 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 no. And then the brother pushes you back. And, and then next time, oh, on the left side. See? You meditate. I mean, you are really omnipresent. Yeah. Also, <laughs> Buddha. Buddha, and you know what I mean? Yeah, omnipresent. Yeah, everywhere you you are. You know, <laughs> I sit here. It is not safe if I meditate right now. I probably be influenced by your power of samadhi. Then I might also go all over direction. You know. Oh well, hey. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> never know when I go into samadhi. Yeah. So this is no problem. Yeah. Would be nice if each one one room, huh? King size bed, big sofa, hmm. with the foot rest in the front, huh? <laughs> Anyone can meditate and become Buddha like that, no? <laughs> Wonderful life, yeah. Ah, nice, yeah. Don't have, sorry. <laughs> we don't have such thing here. Even I don't have. <laughs> nah, I have a sofa. I have a little sofa. Most of my sofas, yeah. I have many sofas actually, in one small room. Dog sofa number one, dog sofa number two. Dogs number three, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and they also sit on my sofa, so actually don't belong to me. <laughs> Nothing belong to me in the house. Originally, I don't have a house. Originally, I don't like house, too much cleaning, yeah, and otherwise I have to call somebody to clean. And sometimes they understand, they clean. Sometimes they don't understand or they don't want to understand. Come back home. Huh? What? Everything is the same. <laughs> Very familiar, you know. Mm. It's, it wastes a lot of time if you stay in the house. You have to clean a lot. And now, even worse, the dogs, you know, they go and they trail their blankets everywhere. They drop their little bone everywhere. And I have to always clean up because the ants will come. These are very smell very strong, and they come all over the house. Before, I don't know what ants is, <laughs> and now <laughs> a lot of them. Hey, did mosquitoes bite you here? No. Or oh, maybe too many people. Or oh, too many people. They just pit, 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 so you don't feel nothing, right? <laughs> they have choices, right? Yeah. Oh, this guy, oh, German, maybe try, try a little bit, foreign food. <laughs> Take it out. Oh, no good. Go to Korean. Oh, kimchi, it tastes better. <laughs> oh, go Indonesian. Oh, the food is more spicy. Oh, Indian. Yeah, curry. Oh, very strong flavor. By the way, talking about flavor, if possible, you don't eat leftover food, okay? Because uh, the demons, they favor leftover food. So they, they will kind of take away the purity of the food. So if you eat it again, you're mixing with the demons. Energy, not too good, okay? Try to cook just enough and then you just eat that. Next time you cook again, the demons cannot go near you because if you keep the five precepts well, yeah, and you meditate enough, the demons cannot go near you. But they don't have to go near you to take the flavor of the food. You understand that? So if you eat again, it seems like you eat the leftover from the demons. The demons, they don't have to be near you to enjoy the flavor from your leftover food because the flavor, just like a smoke, you know, or the smell, the fragrance of the cooking of the flowers, they are just permeated in the air. 
or in the atmosphere, so they can always enjoy that. They are allowed to. But uh, I feel very sorry for them, so I often leave a morsel or two after eating my food so that they can partake of that flavor. You can do the same if you would like to. If you cook a lot, you take out some that you eat only, and whatever left that could be okay, yeah? And for example, if you are eating and you are busy, like me sometimes, uh, then still some food left over, and you working, working, and you want to eat again later, within nine minutes, it's okay. After that, the demons are allowed to eat your food because it's kind of left over. It's like discarded food. They don't have enough merit to eat fresh and wonderful food, so they allowed to eat whatever so-called discarded. Therefore, uh, we better eat what's fresh, yeah? better, okay? Otherwise, uh, you might feel agitated, unpeaceful, unrestful for meditation or for dealing with many things in the world, okay? Mm. I also personally experience that, so I tell you the truth, okay? But in this world, it's sometimes very difficult to, to adhere to those uh, principles. Like uh, uh, most of the monks, you know, the monks under Buddha, they eat only before noon. After noon, they don't eat anymore. Number one, because they have to uh, meditate and uh, go to the Buddha assembly in order to listen to his teaching. They cannot go all day, go back in outside, you know? So they beg one time, go for arm one time, and then uh, they uh, go, after eating, they have to wash and clean, and then go for group meditation, like the way you do. Hmm? Yeah. When the Buddha was still alive, yeah? So the monks, they don't eat after noon time, okay? Because up to three o'clock, it is still a good time, okay? Up to three o'clock in the afternoon is still a good time to eat. Up to six o'clock maximum is the best time to eat. Because after that, it would be the taking over from the negative force. And then whatever you eat, it might not be easy to digest or it might not make you that healthy as you would like to be because it tainted with some negative uh, influence, yeah? Up to six o'clock is okay. After three o'clock, it's already going to the negative uh, zone of time in our world, yeah? But up to six o'clock, the sun is still shining. The reason we still can eat up to six o'clock, because the sun always frightens these kind of demons these kinds and other lower kinds, weaker kinds, not all of them are frightened. But the demons, they are lowly anyway. So up to six o'clock, the sun is still there. Even though you don't see the sun, like a cloudy day, rainy day, the sun is still there. The sun's power is still radiating into the world. Thus, if you eat within these hours, yeah, up to six o'clock. From, uh, from three o'clock morning, early morning up to six o'clock in the afternoon, it is still okay. Uh, better not eat after that. Up to six o'clock we can eat because the sun is still there. But it's uh, different in different countries. It depends on what time the sun set. Also it depends on the season as well. Just eat before the sun set. That will be good. I am okay. I can eat any time I want or not eat. Because in my surrounding, I, I have created, or heavens have created with me a protected area. So I don't get much harm from whatever I do. But uh, most of people, 
they might have bad influences from the negative force in this world. Maybe that's the reason why our world is uh, often very restless. Even in a peaceful country, uh, we don't have as good energy as heavens, yeah, as in heaven. You understand now? Mm. And then uh, we eat many things like uh, onions, garlics, and stuff like that. Also make us also restless, yeah, less peaceful. Mm. I don't know why I talk about these onions, garlics now. They are also some kind of medicine, okay? Uh, in the West, uh, like when I was in France or I in England, people, they brew onion soup in winter uh, to prevent the cold, to prevent having the cold. And also sometimes they put onions in the pocket of their children <laughs> to prevent uh, having coldness, yes. Also garlic, sometimes it, uh, it also cleans your blood, yeah, it's, it, in some cases, yes. Uh, but not to be like eaten, you know, often, yeah. Even though it has medicinal uh, property, but it does also have a spiritual uh, bad side, yeah, side effect. Uh, okay, la. Do you have any question? Any good question? Yeah. How about raw food? How about what? Raw food. A uh, raw food? Yeah, the demon still eat after nine minutes. <laughs> yes, anything that is left over, they are allowed to eat if they want to eat. Okay. Mm. The food with a lot of flavor, they of course they like because they can feel it even though they don't have body, but they can sense it from afar. So they can even take the flavor from far away from you. Raw food also has some other effect, uh, like the enzyme is still very much alive. So it could, if you're very sensitive, sometimes I'm very sensitive, I feel that, also make you a little restless. But some people think, is energetic, <laughs> okay? It depends on if you need a lot of action, yeah? or if you like to have more quiet time. Mm. It depends also whether or not you are very sensitive to the enzymes, uh, activities, yeah, enzyme activeness, yeah? Mm. Okay. The food, if you, if you take half of it first into some different bowl and eat it, and whatever the food left there, if you don't touch it yet, I have no, not of your saliva, or you don't eat from it and then left, then it's okay, understand? But if you eat like half a bowl, and then half a bowl left, the same bowl, same bowl, same, same food, but you eat already half, left half, then, then it's counted as leftover. You won't get testing, test different spoon. You take a spoon, you put it in a little uh, bowl or cup, you taste from that, then the food is still okay. Even that's why in the, in the Buddhist uh, sutra, the Buddha told you uh, whatever not offered to the Buddha, you should not eat. See that? Yeah. Number one, because of respect. Number two, because of maybe like that. The demons have tasted it already. And if the Buddha eats, it's no good. You see what I mean? Yeah. Even no good for us, how will be good for the Buddha, huh? Yeah. But the Buddha uh, may be okay, uh, maybe because Buddha has protective power. But at that time, he, he has many monks. So when we taste it, we should better give, have a different cup. Mm, then your food is still pure and new, okay? Also, food. When you eat a, a leftover or overnight, also no good, okay? Would be better eat fresh every day, yeah? Not even cook for today, eat tomorrow. <laughs> but for my convenience, sometimes I do that. I have no time to keep cooking, understand? 
put in the fridge and it's still fresh. No, I'll just take it out, eat it. It still tastes good though, huh? But of course, when it's warm, you're used to it. It's warm and fresh. It tastes better than from the fridge. Yeah. But I had not always the choices. Yeah. I'm very, very busy. Whenever I come out see you, oh, look like relax, like I not have nothing to do except looking at you and talk nonsense <laughs> and smile, <laughs> make jokes. But I'm quite very busy, very busy. Yeah. I think I'm a very good monk. You know, in many precepts, I'm a good monk. Like the monk cannot take a shower every two weeks. Yeah, in India maybe you don't have room, don't have water. I, I am the same. <laughs> not because, not because I, I do it for a precept, but because I have no time. <laughs> Understand? So I think in a way I'm a very good monk. Uh, maybe, maybe in India they don't, did not have enough water at that time. Yeah? They, they have just a limited water from a well, and it's difficult to always draw it up. Yeah, or maybe because they're busy, the monks are busy, no idea. But I can tell there's a very good precept, very good excuse for me. It's good to be busy also, but sometimes it's just too busy, too busy. It's not too good, yeah. Never mind. I still better than better than uh, busy with uh, things that is not useful or not helpful to anyone, yeah. I am very happy that I still can do some work and that helps other people, and remind them to practice, remind them to remember their higher selves and the freedom that they used to have before they've been trapped into this body. Hmm? I'm happy to be able to still do that. Any more questions? If not, I'll let you run for the bus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, mm. Oh, yeah? Congratulations. Yes, yes. I'm always with you anyway. Okay? Whether or not you come to see me. I always see you. Mm? That's enough, right? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's good that you don't come. Look at uh, your house. Huh? Look at that. Plastic. Huh? <laughs> yeah. And before that, somebody even told me it's not allowed to make this even. But it is allowed. It's legal, so it's fine. It's just that you get wet. And if somebody punch it, then you can. Also convenient, you know, have a drink, <laughs> punch a hole and you sit there, <laughs> open your mouth and you have a drink. Rain water is good, good. Question? Yeah, over there. Yeah, thưa sư phụ, năm ngoái là vào tháng 10 năm ngoái là con gái con nó qua đây bể quang. Dạ, um, thì cái, cái, cái ngày đầu tiên mà, mà con gái con qua đây là chủ lớp của sư phụ đó, đến tìm con gái của con. Dạ, và, và liên tục đó rất là nhiều ngày, lớp và con gái của con đi chơi với nhau rất là nhiều lần. Thì um, có một ngày thì chủ lớp mới tâm sự về con gái con về nè. Um, Ai tâm sự? Dạ, chủ lớp của sư phụ đó. Good chó lớp hả? À. Dạ. Chó mà đi tâm sự với mấy người hả? Dạ, linh thể đó sư phụ. Hai người đi chơi với nhau, con gái con nó qua đây. Con gái con qua đây thì chủ lớp đi tìm con gái con rồi hai người cùng đi chơi. À. Rồi có khi con gái con cũng lên ở trên kia tìm chủ lớp để hai người đi chơi. Rồi giờ chủ lớp mới tâm sự với con gái của con rằng á là chủ lớp rất là buồn. Ừ. Sư phụ bằng rộn quá, sư phụ ít có chơi với chủ lớp. Ừ. Mà cái vị thị giả đó uh, cũng không biết cách chơi với lớp. Ừ. Lớp rất là buồn ừ. và lớp rất là thấy cảm thấy rất là hạnh phúc khi có đi chơi với con gái của con. Ừ. Yeah. Con gái con nó qua đây á, là, 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 nó muốn là chăm sóc uh, Good love Chọ, dạ, yeah, mm. chăm sóc Good love Cho nên là khi mà nó qua đây nó cấu thông được về chủ lớp 
Ừ. Dạ mà con gái của con nó có rất là nhiều kinh nghiệm cắm cho sư phụ ừ. à, Con gái con, con gửi lời là không biết là sư phụ có con um, cần người cắm cho không ạ à? <cười> Ok, nó đâu rồi? Dạ nó không có qua đây nữa sư ở phụ Ở đâu nó đâu? Dạ nó ở, ở Việt Nam ạ à. Thì muốn ở bao nhiêu cũng được đó. Ok nhưng mà sợ tình cảnh như vậy đó biểu quý vị cho quý vị ở lại rồi bữa nay ước của mai ước hiểu không ok nó mấy tuổi rồi chưa thiếu là 26 tuổi ạ à. 26 tuổi tuổi con gì dạ nó tuổi thân tuổi có khỉ ơ à, khỉ à, ok khỉ mà sao good love rồi chơi với nó <cười> chó mà chơi khỉ hay hả <cười> ok dạ yeah. my dog is very sensitive He sometimes very cute. He complained to me. Sometimes he he pull his face, you know, come up and then he. Yeah. So I asked him, "What's wrong now? What is it today?" I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time for you. I wish I do, because I enjoy your love and your company. Every night, if I can, I keep telling him, "Thank you for your love. Thank you for your company. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you for your protection." Every day, and then I kiss him good night. I sing some song for all of them. Okay, I thank all of them every day, and I remind them to remember God, yeah, and sleep well, sweet dream, yeah, etc. Uh, Sometimes he complained to me. He pulled his face. I talked to him. He turned the other way. I said, "What's wrong? What have I done now today?" Uh, he said, "Not you. Uh, the assistant." I say, what did they do? Uh, dogs are supposed to protect master, no? They forbid. <laughs> they forbid me. Not really. I'm busy, and the assistant did not bring them up. Okay. Sometimes people come and repair in the house, and all that, so they cannot come up. And he was very upset. Uh, dogs are supposed to to protect master, no? They forbid. I said, no, no, sorry, I'm just busy, okay? Okay, one more day, and then you can come up. Another day, he complained again. Uh, the assistant again. I said, what now? What again today? He said, they don't give dog any snack. <laughs> I said, okay, okay, I make it up for you. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they forgot. So I gave him some, some snacks. He's very cute, very, very cute. He got upset about a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time for him and all that. And whenever, if uh, there are workers, you know, in my place, and they, then the dogs will not be able to come. Or, or like I'm coming to you now, and the dogs are not with me. And if I'm with him, then I have to read a lot of paperwork. Understand me? Checking out a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. I'm one person only, and we have only 24 hours a day. I have a lot of work to do. Understand? You would cannot imagine. You think Master Vina Master is so nice. A lot of people clap hands. And <laughs> I love you, love you, Master, love you. Ah, oh, that's only one little part of my life. Every day I'm very, very busy. Sometimes. I can't have time to eat or take a shower. I, I wear one pair of clothes for one week, two weeks sometimes, long time, yeah? It's also very economized, you know? Save water, no? Mm. Save soap, <laughs> save time, but truly have no time. Yeah, sometimes I want to take a shower, but I cannot really so, so urgent work waiting, and then dogs need attention. You know, not just good love, but there are many other dogs. He do complain. I know that. So your daughter say the, the truth. I know that. Because he also complained to me. <laughs> he doesn't complain, I don't have time for him, but whenever I don't have time for him, uh, for like all day he cannot come up, and the next day again, only half day, then he don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I talk to him here, he turned there. <laughs> Yeah, he turned his head, truly like that, like human, you know? And I have to talk to him, I have to 
really apologetically, sweetly talking to him. I'm truly sorry. You know, I treasure you so much. You know, I love you so much. I really appreciate your presence. I'm just too busy. I, I tell him, you know, I have to work for the world, for other animals, for other dogs who are suffering so much, who don't even have a home, who doesn't have an owner, and people harass them, torture them, and kill them, you know, all day, every day. At least we have each other, and you can always see me whenever possible. All the dogs don't have any home, don't have any mama, don't have anyone to protect them. And all the animals, they suffer even so much, and people, they suffer so much. I have to work, I have to, I really have to. Please forgive me, I do love you very much. And then he relented, and then he ate his snacks. Otherwise, his favorite snack, he said, don't want. I give him, I thought, I thought he's sick or something. Because normally, dogs, they love these vegan bones, you know. I really have to sit down and talk to him. Half an hour long, my precious time. And then he forgave me. Then he ate his bone. Otherwise, he don't even eat that, his favorite. Sometimes he tempted, you know, he, he turned his head, you know, angry, yeah. upset, so don't eat. But then he, and then, oh, no, no, I don't eat. And then, uh, look, look, and uh, take a little lick. And, uh, no, no, I'm angry, I don't eat. <laughs> it's so cute, my God. So I, I laugh sometimes, I say, you're so cute, you know that? Just eat it, my God, you can be angry with me, but this is your bone. Eat it. I mean, the vegan bone he loves. He can never stop eating this. All of them. No matter how much I give, never enough. <laughs> yeah. So now he went out and gossip about me with your daughter, huh? Tonight I will tell him. <laughs> Talk bad about me behind my back like that. That's not cool. Uh, he complained to me already. It's good enough why he has to go out and, and talk gossip about me behind my back like that, huh? You think it's cool, yeah? Huh? Man. See? See dog? Huh? Like that? Huh? Just, just like you guys, huh? Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can never please everyone, even dogs. I have seven dogs. All of them want attention 24-7. So all I do is combine, you know. I had to eat, also clean my house because after they eat or, or give them snacks or if they don't eat enough with the assistant, I make some food for them. So whenever they come up, I'm really fully attention to them. There's no, no other choice until it takes at least one and a half hour until I finished or two hours until I finish with all of them snacks and water and changing water because they come up. I don't think they drink down there. They just wait until you come up to my place and drink, 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 drink. And then I have to keep changing water because they drool in it and it don't look good anymore. One, one dog drink, then it don't look good anymore. Maybe two or three, but not the whole six dog in one bowl. So I have to keep changing the water to keep it fresh, yeah? And then clean up after them and clean their sofa because they eat on it. Yeah. Instead of eating the bowl, they take it from the bowl, go in the sofa, eat it, or go in the carpet, or go my dog, my sofa, yeah? Okay, after that, then I have to do my work, okay? My paperwork, my bureaucracy work, or whatever work in this world. So I combine, you know, I let all of them sit around me, yeah? And one dog, who was a little bit shy and lonely, I let her sit next to me. So she's doing work with me. Yeah, very, very nice work she does. <laughs> you know, next to me. <laughs> so that at least they see me all the time. Yeah? Uh, whenever I work, at least they can see me. Yeah. I sit there, do my paperwork, and they sit around. Then they're happy. But not playing and not talking sweet, you know, like that. Yeah, I do, I do, but not the like way they want. Not like, all oh, attention, just them, the world, it's just them. Nothing else in the world exists except my dog. 
That's what I wanted. Understand? I can't. So I take care of one by one. And also many other things like, like good love and the other dog, one more dog, he like cold. The other dog like hot. So I have to turn on the aircon, cool enough for good love, and that little dog, and the other one I have to cover them with blanket. And sometimes they run around and they trail, trail the blanket everywhere. And I have to pick up one after another, put them back in the sofa, cover them so that they don't get cold. All these small, small things take a lot of time, yeah? But at least I am there, you know? Therefore, I keep my whatever room I have as small as possible so that they surround in me and I'm working. So they all can see me working. They like that. Therefore, they have their own room. Yeah? Their room with the little um, dog den so they can warm inside with blanket and sheet and everything in there. You know, and, and uh, pillow and stuff like that. But they never want to go there. I have to carry them and put them in there. Now, time to go. Ah, come on, <laughs> carry them. They don't want to go to their room. Just want to hang around where I'm working. And it's late already, sometimes two, three, four o'clock in the morning, you know, and I had to have the light on. Otherwise, my eyes hurt, yeah? But they sleep under neon lamps, staring at them like they don't care. <laughs> as long as I'm around. And I tell them, go room now. Go, go, and they go the other direction, <laughs> hiding. Don't run to their room, but run in the opposite direction. And I have to chase them <laughs> and carry them. I catch them and then, here, let's go now. I carry them on shoulder and bring them into their, their own room and their bed. And I turn my back, they run tuk, tuk, tuk after me. I say, no, no, go back. <laughs> I have to put, you know, like scoop them up, put into their own cave, cage again. And I stay, huh? Time to go <laughs> to bed. I also need to go to bed. I am tired also. Okay? I keep telling them, I am tired. Maybe you are not tired, but I am tired. I need to go to rest, to meditate, to do all the work. And we see each other soon. Very soon, very soon. I sit there, sing song, uh, fed pear, scratch, scratch, tum tum, and for a while, until they really, really couldn't bear no more. They still don't want to close their eyes, you know? Uh, open. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I stopped <laughs> scratching, open eye again. <laughs> I said, oh, close. I, I use my, my hand to close the eye. Close it. <laughs> Keep it closed. Oh, they're tired already, but still don't want to go sleep, you know? It's like babies. Oh, very, very... Incredible, these dogs, yeah. And one speak English even. You hear, you see that? It's her who speaks it, not I, huh? You can hear the dog's voice very clearly. Uh, the first time I heard it, I was also very surprised. I never thought, because I never taught them anything. I always say, I love you, I love you. Always, of course. But I never taught her. Anyway, you cannot teach, not every dog can speak like that, even if you want to teach, right? Yeah. Other dogs don't speak, only that one does. Yeah. And so clear. The first time she speaks, like almost 20 minutes. But I did not have camera, I did not have recorder. I just stand in there because she keeps jumping on around me and on me and dancing. And so I could not think, I just listened to her. She say, I love you, I love you nonstop. I was just, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Standing there, so surprised, and she jumped all over around me. And next time, I said, oh, I try again to see if she speak again. Then that's how I record it, just a few words, because when she see the camera, she stop. And then she say, I love you, instead. <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? So the one that she say, I love you, clearly the next one, after I love you, that was the next, another retreat. Yeah, so I record it two, three times, each one only a couple of times, yeah. You don't see me because I was with camera. I stood on the table, otherwise you keep jumping on me, I could do it. So I was prepared already, you see what I mean? Camera ready, come in, and then she, and she come in, she was very excited. So she said, I love you, I love you, and then she saw the camera, and then she stopped. <laughs> That's why I keep doing it three times in order to collect all that. The first time it was non-stop, for almost 20 minutes. 
you know, she come and go, uh, I love you, I love you. She run all over crazy, you know. Because she hadn't seen me for a long time and not allowed to come to where I, I do retreat either. So she was kind of crazy when she saw me like that. They all went crazy like that. It just she spoke. She, because before that, she escaped to go down to the village, run around down there. So when she came back with the two kids, I scold her a lot. <laughs> I said, you cannot do this again. You make me worry too, too sick. You know that? I worry sick about you. What if some other dogs bite you or wounded your kids or you eat some nonsense down there and get sick and what if somebody take you away, you know? And what am I to do? I was scolding her like that. So after that, immediately I had to go on retreat. So maybe she thinks that I don't like her anymore and left her. That's why when she came back, she bribed me with the speak before she never speak anything. She was thinking maybe I don't love her anymore because I scolded her and then left her, you know. But I told them I have to go to be alone for a while, okay? Uh, you take care of each other, take care of yourself, I come back soon. I keep telling them that, but maybe she did not believe, you know. Like coincidence, she left, escaped, go down there, run around in the village, <laughs> and come back, suddenly I left. You see what I mean? She thought maybe because she did it wrong. So I came back, oh, I love you, I love you, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> But it's like that. Uh, every time I came back from retreat from now, if, if she came up alone, then she always say, I love you. But if she is with other dogs, then they, then they distract her. They, they play with each other so crazy, you know. Both, all of them are so excited, crazy. They play with each other, rolling, jumping on top of each other, on top of furniture. I have to keep holding on the phone, on the light, on everything, <laughs> so that they don't break. <laughs> yeah. So uh, she was distracted with other dogs, but if she's alone, she always say that. Yeah, I don't record anymore. That's enough. Sample only, you know. <laughs> and I did ask her permission. First, she say no, but I say this is not for you and for me, and not to show it. But because dogs and many animals, they don't like to show off what they have. They hide their ability and talents or um, power even, but she has magic power, that I know. All of them have, but they don't use it in front of anyone. Only when emergency or when need, like if we chain her somewhere, she broke the chain and go. She broke it not by biting, she broke by her power. You know, the iron chain, she can break it, oh, go, just like that. So dogs normally, they don't like people know what they know. So well, first I asked her, she said no. Uh, then uh, later I asked her again, I said, this is not for us, for, not for me to show off, not for you. It's for the world, okay? People might think more kindly of dogs and more kindly of animals in general, that we have more respect for dogs. I said, because this, uh, this video I took a long time already, not, not just uh, the day that you saw, no, no, long time ago. And that day I, t I told you, and then uh, I thought, oh, maybe we have to include that so that you know I told the truth. <laughs> Who knows, you guys are sometimes doubted your master. I always tell the truth, okay? But the human mind sometimes have, have a suspicion, yeah? <laughs> okay. So I told her this is for the animals, yeah? For the world people to, to know more about animals. So you have sacrifice, you do some sacrifice, yeah? I'm also worried about some bad effect might come to her if, if people know about it or if you guys know about it and so attached to her and, and wishy-washy, you know, want to play with her, want to see her and all that stuff. And, you know, it might make trouble for her. So I even asked for protection for her before airing because originally I did not want to show this. Yeah, uh, some of my staff asked me, oh, Master, can we show that on TV? I said, no, 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 that's it just... No, I don't want anyone to see my dog anymore. Before, they see my dogs and then they got sick and so much trouble. I don't want to. So this time, I say it's just for me and for her. So I did not really want to. You know, there's one, uh, one clip that I dance with my little dog. 
So I, I never wanted to, you know, I never wanted to show it. But then I thought, okay, maybe we have to sacrifice, you know, whatever happened, we should show it so that other people know dogs also have intelligence. And animals in general, they, they, they are so good. They have soul, they have intelligence, they have wisdom. And many of the animals also enlighten, okay? I read to you many stories about Buddha, yeah? Buddha used to be a fish or a peacock or a deer or something like that. And he always protect his herd or helping his own kind. Somehow enlightened, you see? Maybe not as enlightened as when he is a Buddha, but enlightened already, a Bodhisattva. Huh? Uh, someday, tomorrow, next day, if I have time, I'll read you another story, okay, about the Buddha. Yeah. So that's that, you know, my dogs are also mm, for the world. Yeah. The, I have one, one clip when I dance with my little dog, and one of your brothers took the photo, uh, took the video, and then it was on the internet. I even asked them to remove it. I remove it. If you, if you check on it, you don't see it anymore. Yeah, because I, I wanted to protect my dogs. It's not like I want to show everything like that. But then on the second thought, I thought, well, maybe it would help some people to be kinder to animals, to have more respect to animals or to dogs at least, you know, at least to some some people, they might touch their heart and maybe they'll be more kind, more respectful. That's why I show it. Otherwise, I took this long time already, you know? I did not want to show it. And I even removed the, the, the clip where I danced with my dog. I mo removed it. Yeah? Uh, Christmas, yeah, I was dancing with him and then it was on TV. Maybe some of you didn't see it. Any of you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. I removed it. I told him to remove it already. Because I did not want anything to do with my dogs. I tell my staff, it's bad enough that I have to bear all the karma. I don't want to rub it off on my dog. They are innocent. I adopted them, not, not for show. But then for the animals, we did that. And I told them even, oh, never mind, the, the one that I danced with the dog at Christmas, uh, you can... <laughs> You can retrieve it and put it back on the internet if you, if you like. So everything is for all beings, actually. Nothing is for us, nothing for me, yeah? So I hope you appreciate my dog's sacrifice and kindness, yeah? I asked her a second time, she, she gave me the paw, you know? Like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I explained all that to her and then she gave me the consent. Give me, she normally never give me any paw. She's not the hand-shaking dog. And she's also not the licking dog. And she jumped around and jumped on me and hugging me, but she never, never do this. Yeah. Many dogs do that. A little dog does that, but she, she's not that type. She's also not the type of shaking hand either. Good love does that. And the little, little boy does that. Uh, but she and her kid never did that to me before. Only when I ask her for permission, respectfully, and with love for all beings, for all the dogs, then she, after I explain all that, then she consents. She gave me her paw. She's too clever and very, very sensitive, very highly spiritual somehow. I told you already, now I have uh, five dogs, including her is six. She has her three dogs, but she adopt another six because her mother, other mother had been poisoned to death in a golf course, yeah? So she adopt them all. So they are not all her dogs or her kids. And uh, one of the Thai uh, rich women came and adopted three dogs away from the nine, yeah? And then I... I did not think I could do anything at that time. It was too fast, it happening too fast. So the woman came and took away, she chose the best dogs of the three, took it away. And I'd run after her, giving some money and giving some milk, you know, 
soya milk and all, milk and other things. I say, I know you don't need this, but this is just for my heart, for my love, just to, just to say goodbye to them, uh, because I, I'm sure they will have a good home with you, and I thank you, and I thank you. And please accept just some of my humble offering, just as if like a parting, parting gift to them, not because you need it. I know you don't need it. She's wealthy. I can see the way she dressed, the car she drives, yeah? So she accepted it, okay? So she took the three dogs away. Many, many months later, I adopt all of the other ones, including her, you know, the mother who adopted other dogs. And then I was, while, while interacting with them, feeding them, I was thinking it would be nicer if the mother, at that time, I thought they all her dogs. <laughs> it would be nicer if this mother dog had back all her kids again, another three kids. So I tried many ways, calling this and that person to contact uh, the one that gave the three dogs away to the other woman. I said, please, can you contact the adopted uh, woman, ask her whether or not if she 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 really willing or she doesn't feel like having three dogs, could I in any way please uh, adopt them also so that the mother will be happy? Uh, we talk a lot on phone and all that, but let's she say no. She doesn't contact the one who originally had these dogs and gave away to her friend, don't contact her. Say, oh, I already gave my word, I cannot take it back. So I was talking on phone to one of my disciples, the one who <laughs> wants to contact, you know, because I don't speak Thai, and <laughs> uh, they speak English though, but I don't have their phone number, but, uh, but your sister has them, you know, Thai sister. And then uh, we keep talking on phone, she understood everything. Uh, so I was kind of upset, you know, I said, she doesn't have to. I so told to your, the initiate, you know, so-called disciples, tell her she doesn't have to take back her word or anything. All she does is just pass on my message and ask the other lady whether or not in any chance at all that she might return these three dogs to her mother, you know, and I adopt them together. I was kind of upset with that woman why she couldn't even just pass on. So I talk a little loud, you know, and then she understand everything. And then later on, again, uh, again, and she say no. So I was kind of upset. So I said to her, she was sitting next to me, the mother, okay? She sit next to me, and I say, look, sorry, I've tried my best. I want to have your three kids back, but they did not give it. And she kissed my hand. That's the first time she does, and the last time. She don't do that. She kissed my hand, you know. And she doesn't do that before. She never did that before, and she don't do it now still. She's not a licking kind of dog, not kissing kind of dog. So she understood everything. She just said, thank you, you know, and kiss my hands. Like, it's okay, I understand, like that. She understood everything. Yeah. So she only gave me Paul only that time when I asked her for mission. She never do this. <laughs> she never does that. And the little boy, the one I dance with Christmas, he does it all the time for bone. <laughs> for vegetable. <laughs> I don't ask him, he always come to me, so I can. <laughs> then I know what he wants. <laughs> but she never, never, does. she love also vegan, but she very dignified lady, you know, never beg, never, never kiss butt, <laughs> never do nothing. But only that time she kissed me. Okay, how nice. Your house, look at this, huh? <laughs> you invite me to your house like this? <laughs> Okay, let's go, huh? Thank you for coming. <clears throat> I thought I have to come down because you came from such a far away, okay? And, and today I was trapped, <laughs> or wrapped up, I couldn't come down, but because I heard that you're going away, some of you going away, so I thought I just have to, okay, huh? All right, well, I hope I hope you have a good trip, good time, and tomorrow, if uh, I have time, we see each other again, okay, huh? If nothing happened, huh?
Ah, to see you is not that easy. Always something happened. Always something happened.